What is up guys? I am Cody from Auto Mafia Racing and today we are installing our Auto Mafia Racing catted down pipe on our 15 plus EcoBoost Mustang. First we're going to show you how to remove the stock exhaust and then we'll show you how this thing goes on. Quick note, if you're working with any stock exhaust or anything that hasn't been taken off in a while, it's good to use some PB Blaster to loosen up those bolts. It'll be easier to take off. Probably good to go ahead and put it on your hangers too so they'll slip off nice and easy. Okay, now that we have everything on the bottom loose, we're going to go ahead and remove our O2 sensors. Okay guys, usually what I like to do is, I like to unplug it from here first. and then crack it loose while the pipe is still stationary in the car. Okay guys, as you can see, the whole stud came out. That's not a problem, that's nothing to worry about. Once we drop the exhaust, we can separate the stud from the factory exhaust and put it back in. All right, we have the nut off of the stud. Now we're just putting it on to the turbo. Okay, now we're gonna take our O2 sensors and this bracket and transfer it over to our new downpipe. We're gonna leave this loose until it's on the car so that way we know it fits well. All right, there we go. So bracket on, O2 sensors in, and we are reusing our donut gasket here. Go slips together pretty well. All right, there we go. It's all slipped together. Now we just gotta plug in our O2 sensors, tighten these up, and tighten up the nuts on our turbo. Heck yeah, man. There we go, it is in. Let's, you wanna hear a cold start? See if it sounds any different? 
All right, let's see what this thing sounds like. Remember, still stock exhaust otherwise. All right, guys, there you go. There is the install for our new catted down pipe for 15 plus EcoBoost Mustangs. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.